Hi everyone, thanks for watching. If you're watching this video on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe below. All of the ad revenue that we get from you watching these videos will go to local New Zealand charities. Today I'm going to talk about that income hurdle that we talk about so often, whether you're a first home buyer, you're upgrading your home, or you are buying an investment property, Getting your income to meet the bank criteria is one of the two main things that they look at, the other being equity. One of the key things you really want to keep in mind is that the bank doesn't calculate your affordability at 2.5% or whatever they're giving the rate out at. It actually has a much higher rate and these have come down recently but are still around 6%. So you have to be able to afford your mortgage at 6%, which gives the bank some assurance that going forward, you can afford that mortgage. So what is the key to getting more income? Well, you could leave your current job and search for a new job that has a higher salary, that will certainly do it. But you really want to think about, will that new role have a 90 day clause? Now, employers that have less than 20 employees are allowed to put a 90 day trial clause into their contract. And the banks obviously don't like this. They don't like the fact that you could be let go from this new role anytime within those 90 days. So the answer is really you can wait and apply after that 90 day trial period has finished. Or you can ask your new employer to remove that 90 day trial period. Or you can simply not move jobs. If your employer has more than 20 employees, this won't affect you, so don't worry about that. But if you are moving jobs, you really want to look for that 90 day trial period. Most banks will be aware of that and not want to bar of it. One thing to bear in mind about your income is that casual work and new businesses, so maybe hobby businesses, don't count towards your income. Now they're great for deposits. So if you want to build up your deposit, a bit of casual work, fruit labor, or making masks for lockdown, that all has great deposit value, but it can't be used towards your income because next month you may not be earning that income. Right. So if you're wanting to buy your first home, upgrade your home or an investment property, and you're hitting that income hurdle, look at getting a new job or consider asking your boss for a raise. You'll be surprised what even just $50 per week increase would mean. And that's just over a dollar per hour increase in your salary. It's about $2,500 a year, which is about thirty dollars to $40,000 of additional borrowing that you can have. There you go, quick tip. So if you're buying your first home, upgrading your current home, or buying an investment property, Ask your boss for a raise and if start looking for a new job that pays you more, but be aware of that 90 day trial period. Cheers.